Hey out there in YouTube land. I'm over here at the gray house. Got a little bit of stuff done since the last time I made a video. Got a new roof on. Siding has started. A bunch of stuff was ripped off the house. It looks like a mess, but let me tell you, it's coming along. Let me show you. That's what's left of the roofing. Two bundles. Got quite a bit of siding to still do. The front doesn't look like anything except it's a mess. However, you'd have to look back at previous videos. This was all so overgrown, so Juan came over here and took this all down, which makes it a lot neater. You can see all the crap that was taken off the side of the house in preparation of siding. This had that ivy on there, was hiding the front door. It was so dark, so that's all taken down. And like I said, it looks like a mess, but let me show you some of the siding. That's the pile of garbage that's over there I gotta get rid of. Never mind all that stuff too, right? But the siding has started. So I don't know if you guys remember, but the previous homeowner had built some kind of a box over here. He wanted to enclose the porch and then there was a shed back there. You know, I said, just rip it down, bring it back to the original condition. So I got a new door, put in seven new windows and that's what the siding is gonna look like. Here's the back of the house. So two new windows over there. I left that bay window in, but put, put new windows all the way around. Besides that bay window, there's three big windows up in the front porch that I didn't do. The roof is done, but they gotta build out that fascia and soffit up there and roof above that bay window. It's already coming together. See this nasty porch that's over here? The, like I said, the previous homeowner you see those bolts coming out? He had like a 2 by 10 over there. And I think he was originally going to bring the stairs out this way. I think I'm going to leave it as is. Right now I am. But I'm going to build over this with some composite material and make a new porch. That's my plan so far. There's a frog in there. But I cannot find him. Hey, if anybody out there has any suggestions about these three foot by two foot planter boxes with six by sixes going up let me know because right now i think i'm gonna have to take them down the house is back to being a mess not quite as bad as when i first bought it you'd have to look back at the video to see what i'm talking about but it was really bad it's still pretty bad don't get me wrong new anderson windows right seven new anderson windows i left that bay window in and this is what the house looks like right now. A lot of stuff getting done behind the scenes, you can't really, it's not like a big, like, dramatic change. But, like, the toilet, it was raised up so I could put the toilet in. Plumbing was done. Um, that's all new pecs down there because the previous homeowner had everything laying on the ground, which could freeze. I didn't anticipate that, so that's a couple extra dollars. One of my friends changed out some outlets, so I got a new GF eye outlet over there this is going to be controlling the fan up there look away from that toilet it's nasty here's a funny flipping story i just made that term up funny flipping funny flipping story i bought seven new windows and the exterior door what did it cost well it cost about 2500 dollars. that's with my veteran discount of 10 percent off i'm telling you guys because if you need windows, and you can buy them off the shelves from Home Depot, they're Anderson windows, just like you would get from Renewal by Anderson. <laughs> You're going to save like 75 or 80% per window. So, I wasn't going to do the windows in this house. They were still okay, but I said, you know what? While the siding is getting done, I'm putting in new windows. I, put, I bought seven new windows and the exterior door. Here's where it gets funny. Flipping funny. When I brought the seven windows over, I put them in... The position so that the contractor, the, the sub that's doing the siding, knew where to place them. Well, I had one left over. That's my leftover. How do I have a leftover window? I don't think I miscount, miscounted. I know everyone's curious. How did that happen, Harry? Tell us. Tell us about this mystery of seven and you only need a six. How did that happen? On the outside of the house... There was another window there. <laughs> but the previous owner framed it and, uh, and put drywall over it, and I counted from the outside. 
I'm putting on a happy face for you guys because you don't want to hear anybody whining, making a video, and then complaining, and then this happened, and this happened, wah, wah. However, <laughs> I've kind of been sitting on my hands for the past two or three days. The sub, which was a great thing, came out sooner than what I thought he, I thought he was coming out at the end of this week. So I bought all the drywall. I was going to do the bathroom. I was going to insulate it. I was going to uh, put the drywall up. I was going to put the cement board up and even possibly start tiling because I had the plumber over to put new shower valve in, right? You know those things cost like $150? And then the PEX and the new pipe cost some money. All right, back to me whining. So I've been sitting on my hands a little bit because I don't like to come over to the house when the subs are over here. <laughs> It seems like they get me involved with doing the work that they're over here doing. I'm not knocking them. I like these guys. First time I'm doing business with this sub, the, uh, the cider and the roofer. Seems like it's going to work out just fine. However, when I come over, seems like they're asking, like, hey, can you pick up a 2x6? Can you pick up a 2x4? So I was like, I'm going to stay away from the house until they're done. So I'm hoping, what's today, Tuesday, I'm hoping by Thursday or Friday, it's all done outside. The new siding's all up. The, like I said, the roof is done. It's all weather tight, and I could start kicking butt. Then I'll get a dumpster. Someone might be out there saying, hey, hey, Harry, why didn't you get a dumpster and get rid of all that crap as you go along? That makes sense, right? <laughs> this street is kind of tight. Putting a 20-year 20 yard dumpster out there for a couple days would really kind of not make me that popular with the neighbors so i'm gathering everything up and then i'm going to keep it on the street for just a day or two once deciding everything else is done i'll get a dumpster out here put it on the street fill that sucker up if i need a second one i'll have them drop another one off but that's how it's moving along the final product's going to be beautiful that's my mantra the final product's going to be beautiful